What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix new series, Sky Roho. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screener to this new show. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Damn, now this is a hell of a show. Sky Rojo is a stylized, pulpy, irreverent, crime action drama that doesn't pull its punches in terms of sex and violence. Generally, girl power themes or female empowerment in stories would distance itself from the oldest profession on earth because of the stigmas associated with it. But Sky Rojo, on the other hand, puts them front and center unabashedly. Whether or not they find themselves in that world by choice, these three women will claim their freedom even if they die trying. From the creators of Money Heist comes this new action-packed series complete with dark humor and adrenaline-filled moments. Coral, Wendy, and Gina, who are on the run from Moises and Christian, henchmen of Romeo, pimp and owner of whorehouse club Las Novias. Together, the women embark on a frenetic race during which they will have to face many dangers. Their only plan, to stay alive for five more minutes. Hey, you had me at From the Creators of Money Heist. If you haven't seen that show, drop whatever it is that you're doing right now and go watch it. Obviously, Sky Rojo is a different beast, but it's handled by the same creative talents, specifically Alex Pina and Esther Martinez Lobado. So you can definitely expect the same vivid and fearless storytelling approach with vibrant directing and eye-catching cinematography that looks like it jumps straight out of Robert Rodriguez's manual book. The three lead actresses are Veronica Sanchez, Lali Esposito, and Yanni Prado, and they give such daring, remarkable performances here. Not to mention downright attractive. Their characters, Coral, Wendy, and Gina, never venture into the Mary Sue territory. Coral is the oldest, who has addiction issues. Wendy is the one with her own secret past and Gina is barely keeping it together. They don't always know what they're doing, and they go through one chaotic mess after another. Their journey seems bleak and hopeless, but we keep rooting for them to go as far as their legs can take them because they are the epitome of underdogs. Now, it's not always pulse-pounding, it's not consistently about the thrill of the chase. Oftentimes, the episodes hit the brakes to reveal their backstories, including the bad guys as well, which then complicates things and throws the pursuit into shades of gray. I want to talk about the club for a little bit without giving too much away. It's located in the middle of the desert, out in the boonie, dry, dusty areas around it. But once you step in, holy smokes, the design is striking to say the least. Its neon drench setting really pops, and it's built in a way that accentuates this place of lust and decadence. The story would pull back and forth from the three girls figuring out their next move to flashbacks of their experiences dealing with pleasuring various men. And that part can get uncomfortable to watch. I don't think Sky Rojo intends on demonizing sex work. I don't think it's trying to preach that whatsoever. If anything, it speaks more to the predatory men than it is about the women who don't have any other means to make a living. Sky Rojo is a story about friendship. It's a story about love affair. It's a story about payback. 
It's wacky. It's fierce. It's addictive. It's bloody great. I just think this show absolutely rocks. And I hope you'll come to the same conclusion.